everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 20 wow we're really coming into the home stretch it seems crazy that we're only less than five days away till christmas it's just craziness honestly anyways i had my whole day planned out today and it didn't go as i expected i had my whole day planned out and then I realized that I had forgotten I had a doctor's appointment scheduled for today. And of course it was smack dab in the middle of the afternoon, um, which meant, you know, I had to get dressed. I couldn't stay in my pajamas and all of those things. You have to get ready, I have to drive there. It wasn't a telephone appointment, it was an in-person appointment. So I did have to go in and it was fairly quick. It was in and out, but it did, still take up a chunk of my afternoon that I wasn't expecting. So I had planned uh, to do a little bit of Christmas baking and that did not happen. We will see how I'm feeling tonight. If I'm feeling up to it, then I may do some. Um, but if not, that's fine. It will keep for another day. Not for too many more days, but it will keep for another day anyways. Um, okay. So, coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. That's so good. So on Vlogmas Day 10, I talked about a giveaway that I was having because I had hit 100 subscribers. Now I've blown past 200 subscribers. So that's super exciting. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to the videos, liked, commented, shared the videos. All of that helps the channel to grow and it's just super exciting. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to bits that there are people out there who are interested and want to join me every day for Vlogmas. That's just, it's heartwarming. It's wonderful. So thank you for that. And to celebrate that, because I feel like I need to celebrate that, um, I am going to be adding on to the giveaway that we already have running. So I'll talk about that more at the end of this little section of the video. Okay, let's start with the cosmetics calendar, day 20. Oh boy. And I have no idea what this is. So I will have to, it's just very dark liquid with dark text. So I will have to, um, I will put it in text what this is. It looks like it might be perfume, but I'm not sure cute little bottle might be a serum oh I'm sorry I'm sorry okay moving on to art yarn So this is the Sweet Nesting Art Yarn Advent Calendar. Oh, that's, that's interesting. It's um, green and blue and pink barber polling. It's green and blue and pink and it's it seems to have like a barber pole effect happening. So it's this, the, um, it's all wound together. I forget what you call that. Very pretty. It's got an interesting texture. It feels like a hundred percent wool, not scratchy though. Very nice. 
Okay, moving to Koi Gu. I have to dig down to the bottom now. We're getting to the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a combination that you don't see too frequently. It is... Shades of purple, ranging from a royal purple to a light lavender with grays and almost like a dark muddy green almost. So it's like purples with these really dark neutrals. They look fabulous together though. They look amazing. So nice. Love it. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And Last but not least, the twice year Jeep. Day 20. So two days ago when I opened this twice year Jeep advent calendar, I didn't know what I had received. It was the little rings with a K and an I and a K and a D. And I did look it up in the website and I did put some text into the video to explain what it was. But just to be more clear, if you have alternating rows where you have to knit a row, then decrease, knit a row, then decrease, you use that little marker. So you can mark it on knit for the knit row and then decrease for the decrease row. And then there was a second one that was a knit and an increase. So again, if you're alternating knits and increase rows, you just switch them back and forth so that you know if you're if you've just done a knit or an increase particularly handy if you fail to write things down like i do and you leave a project for any length of time really it's so easy to forget and then you have to go back and kind of look at your knitting and figure out what you did okay so we have some beautiful um stitch markers and they have a bead attached to them they're in the figure eight again but this time the uh one half of the figure eight is very very large to accommodate very large needles so that's fabulous i will get a lot of use out of all of these gorgeous stitch markers in the different sizes particularly for the uh, projects that i'm working on with the knit collage because the um, needles are very, very large, which is great because the project then knits up very, very fast, but uh, makes it hard if you don't have the nice large stitch markers. So it was pretty much a cold, wet day all day today here. Um, it snowed all day, but it was the kind of snow that melted right away. It was that wet, sloppy, slushy, melty type of snow. I'm not really a fan of that. Even if it's not that cold outside, when you go outside because of the dampness, it, it just goes right through you. But um, I can see that the flakes of snow have become nice and large and fluffy flakes of snow. And I think it's going to be a lot prettier when we wake up tomorrow. Not so messy. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. This came in the mail for me. It actually didn't come today. It came a couple weeks ago. But I had subscribed to this magazine about a year ago. 
and they only um this the company that produces this magazine the cozy issue bella brace magazine they do produce a lot of different um really interesting artistic type magazines and but the cozy issue usually only comes out once a year so when i subscribed to it last year i forgot that i subscribed to it so a couple weeks ago I received my copy in the mail and I love that kind of mail. It was such a nice surprise. Um, it's a really interesting magazine. If you are into Higa or any sort of like cozy winter living, like the article is like 16 ways to make your bed a cozy sanctuary. The photography throughout the magazine is beautiful. Even the cover, just holding the coffee cup. On the back, there's a quote that says, we believe an ordinary life can be extraordinary. There is beauty in imperfection and that magic can be found in the everyday. And that's a quote from Bella Grace Magazine. There are um, recipes, there are um, simple steps to slow living, that type of thing. Some examples are set aside some reading time, try a no tech evening, be grateful, sit in silence for one minute. And it does have some worksheets. So for example, there's a prompt and then there's a couple pages of empty blank space where you can fill it in. So it says it's like a vision board, create a vision board, go through home magazines and catalogs and cut out all the things that make up your cozy sanctuary, glue the images on these pages. It has the seven day Higa challenge. It's a quite a thick magazine. The pages are gorgeous. They're like a thick matte type finish. And so it is the kind of magazine where you, you can take your cup of coffee or tea. And if you have a few quiet moments during the day, you can sit down and just read one or two of the articles. Um, they're short, they're easy to read. The pictures are very inspiring. Just lovely. Traditions. Anyways, I ha I've, I received the magazine a couple weeks ago. Like I said, it was a great surprise to get this in the mail. And um, I can't wait till I have some quiet time. I have read a few of the articles, but I just love it so much. And it just puts me in that cozy frame of mind. Fun. So I wanted to share that with you. And then the last thing is, so just to recap, there is a, I have a 100 subscriber giveaway happening. All the details for the 100 subscriber giveaway are in Vlogmas number 10 or Vlogmas day 10 but you have to, in order to be entered, you have to follow the directions in Vlogmas Day 10 and you have to comment in Vlogmas Day 10. That's one of the instructions. So it's like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment in Vlogmas Day 10. And then you're entered to win this gorgeous skein of yarn, Soft Decay from Moondrake. I think I have the colorway. For some reason, I do not have the colorway. But it is a 240 yard, 100 gram skein of 100% superwash merino four ply. And then, because we went past 200 subscribers, and I'm feeling super happy about that, 
I want to also throw in as part of the prize. So you'll get this if you win plus what's in this box. So I received my Yarnable subscription for this month and it has this really pretty purple and pink with some blue splotches. It's called Grape Crush. It's a plush decay, 100% superwash merino, 100 grams, 218 yards. So you'll receive that. So you get the two skeins plus the, um, and I haven't even taken them out of the package. So that's a good thing. So the package is still unopened. It's, um, it says sip, sip, knit on this little cotton sack and it has um, metal straws in there. There's also a, an enamel pin that has a wine glass with yarn balls in it and it says sip and stitch. And also the five glass clings that say I drink and I knit things. So I'm going to draw the name of the winner of all these lovely items on the 23rd. So that means you have to comment on Vlogmas number 10 before the 23rd. So you have to get that in by the 22nd at the latest. Well, I did have somebody ask um, what course my daughter is interested in attending in post-secondary school. Her first choice is biopharmaceutical. So it's, um, it's an honors science program in biopharmaceuticals. And that's probably what she will be accepting. But um, again, we're super proud of her for that. So thank you for checking in with me and have a great evening. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. So although I enjoy making things from scratch when I do have plenty of time, these days I don't often have plenty of time. So some of the things that I have picked up for our Christmas dinner and also for the days in between Christmas and New Year's, I picked up this large meat lasagna from, um, a local butcher shop that makes excellent lasagnas and looking forward to that. I also picked up a couple of meat pies. You can see they are homemade by a local seniors group. So it doesn't get much better than that. Um, meat pie is a traditional Canadian, French Canadian uh, Christmas dish in French it's tortière um, but in English it's meat pie. I also picked up 10 dozen pierogies. Pierogies is the Polish uh, word. We also call them pedehe for in Ukrainian and this is what we always had growing up so if you're not familiar with pierogies or pedehe they are a cheese and potato filled dumpling very very delicious i also picked up a fully cooked chicken parm um, just it, it, it's something we can just pop in the oven something delicious to have and i also got a rosemary spatch cocked chicken again something to have over the holidays it was just pop in the oven and have some delicious food those are the things I like to pick, pick up that make Christmas special, but um, also easy <laughs> because I'm all about easy. <laughs> that didn't sound good.
quiet evening snow is falling and from every window shines a light somewhere in the distance drums are calling